Hi, this is Igor Rijimic from HDHead.com and I will talk to you about uh, detecting repeated frames in this tutorial. Uh, repeated frames is something I've been getting occasionally in file-based workflows, uh, not necessarily from Avid DS. Uh, you know, sometimes different softwares have a hiccup and they will render the same frame twice or something will happen and you'll have a, what amounts to a freeze frame. So for example, here's a clip that plays back and it's very difficult in this playback and especially with this uh, screen recording that I'm doing it's kind of hard to see each frame properly but right in the middle of this clip there's a frozen frame I placed okay it's right there see I'm jogging left and right and it's the same frame and actually I'll put a locator on the timeline so we know where it is detecting frozen frames while playing the clip back in real time is sometimes difficult so here's a little trick how you can do it in Avid DS I will copy and paste this clip above itself and uh, take both of these clips into a composite container and uh, we'll look here at the layers. Uh, the default transfer mode is over but if we right mouse click on this and select difference what difference mode does is it compares the content of the top layer with the bottom layer and if the content is identical it just returns zero, it returns a black screen. So if I go through this whole little timeline all we get is a black screen however if I slide one of these layers just one frame off what's going to happen is uh, we get this sort of a outline uh, which shows the difference between the two frames but when we hit the um, our duplicated frame the picture goes black and that's an indicator where our frozen frame is so if I push play and there's a little flash right there, flash of black, uh, telling us where the where the frozen frame is. To understand better what difference does is here's a little illustration. So uh, we have frames A, B, C, C, D, and E. So obviously f the second frame C is a repeated frame, and this is on track one. And then we have exact same thing on track two. Well, if you apply a difference transfer mode between these two layers, all you get is black frames down here below. However, if you slide one of these clips what's going to happen is if, if you apply a difference mode to A and B you get this kind of a mix between A and B B and C you sort of can tell the outline of B and C and so forth but C and C those two frames are identical so all you get back is a black frame so, so that explains why we get this one flash black frame back to further help you with identifying frozen frames repeated frames same thing I created a little preset that you can download from hdhead.com and I'll show you how that preset works. So here's here's a clip with a frozen frame again. It's uh, a frozen frame is right there. So I'll, I'll place a locator. I will select the clip, uh, hit a single quote on the keyboard to open up the load preset dialog box and I will choose the repeated frame detector. Click on OK and I will render this thing just so we can say playing back in real time hit play and right there's the flash frame so see I'll, I'll step through this thing we're seeing a little outline of uh, the difference between the two layers and right here when we hit the duplicate it goes black and then we see the outline again so clearly if I bypass this thing this is where the frozen frame is so to download this little convenient effect you can visit my website at hdhead.com and you'll also find some other useful DS presets. Good luck.